All right. Let's hear it for comic number five, Wes Carwin. Thanks. I recently found out why I'm never going to be good at stand-up comedy. And I'll tell you guys why you deserve to know. You're going to sit through five minutes of it. You should know why you didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Carol Leifer, the single greatest comedian of all time, as everyone in here knows, said that your first joke has to be about your appearance. You have to make a joke. You, when you're in front of a crowd, you have to make it clear that you're comfortable with what you're coming up with and you can write a joke about it. Look at me. Do I look like I'm comfortable with myself? I'm wearing a hoodie under stage lights in Texas. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this region up here as mysterious as possible. I'm hiding a fat stomach the same way a high school sophomore hides a pregnancy, just prayers and layers. Other people look fun. Other people, like, you see them and you think they're having a good time, but you see Carry On has multiple jokes about hiding dead bodies. Adorable, right? <laughs> Other people can do that dumb joke about looking like two celebrities mixed together. Like, oh, look at me, I look like Luigi from Super Mario Brothers and the world's largest breakfast taco mixed together. <laughs> or look at me, I look like an Air Bud mixed together with a second Air Bud. <laughs> My problem is I don't look like two things. I look like one thing and one thing only. I look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> If Shaggy had to put Scooby-Doo down, that's... <laughs> now that the elephant is out of the room. The hard thing about doing five minutes of comedy is I can't just be funny because then you guys won't remember me. So I, I gotta convey my personality and show you guys, like, wh who I am, what my point of view on the world is. Fortunately, I have a joke that sums me up pretty good. The other day I was watching Law & Order SVU with my parents and my girlfriend, and I was the only one that started laughing really loud when it turned out the victim of the episode was mentally challenged. <laughs> that is not a thing you should, admit, you should admit to a group of people you hope follow you on Twitter after the show. Let me explain myself. She had a learning disability, all right? She was a special victim. <laughs> That's not a dark joke, that's a pun. That's wordplay. That's the highest form of comedy intellectually. It doesn't matter that you spent the rest of the episode tied up in the back of a quiz nose. I'm just saying that's the episode of SVU Shakespeare would have written. That's all. Thank you very much. My name is Wes Corwin. I've been telling jokes for about three years now. 35 Twitter followers. Everything's on the up and up. You know how it is. <laughs> I recently read the book, Great Expectations, not as good as I thought it would be. <laughs> That's a good joke. Don't shake your head. Though. It's cold. Sorry, are you, are, are you guys into sports? Is anybody here into sports? Anybody into the sports? I personally think they're going to win the whole thing this year. I recently found out how to deliver bad news. Some people say you gotta go bad news, good news, soften the blow, or good news, bad news, leave them smile. Whatever, forget all of it. What you do, you take your bad news, you pour it in a glass of good news, you stir it together like Nesquik with a spoon of misdirection, and then you throw it in their face. They have no idea what's going on. It's the best way to do anything. Example, the other day I walked up to my kid sister and I said, put on your funeral clothes because I just murdered my economics test. <laughs> but also a different reason. <laughs> I'm gonna close on a joke. I think... <laughs> this one's written by, um, by my dad. Uh, he's, he's a good guy. He's seen how this goes, so he wrote one for me. Uh, thought I should have one. Um, his name's Pete Corwin, he's a good guy, follow him on Twitter, really. Uh, here, here's his joke. Who has two thumbs 
and is Wes Corwin's father's favorite comedian? Steve Martin. <laughs> Thank you. That's Wes Corwin right there. <laughs>